Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I really appreciate that subscription, man. But yeah, it's a really good point. You know, like after watching that movie, I just had to go to all my friends and be like, did you see it yet? Can we talk about it? You, okay. <laughs> Let me know when you saw yeah. it. And like, and yeah, I saw it like, calling a, me out. <laughs> I, I called it like a week and a half late, you know, like I, I went and I saw it a week and a half late and I still wasn't able to talk about it for like a month. So yeah, I feel like people calling me out for, for not, I called it that movie instead of saying the actual name. So People calling me out, I feel the need to clarify that, yes, I know, it's from The Martian, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sip of tea is kind of like a, a, a weird... <laughs> It was like a, it's like a British version of the of dropping the mic or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, gosh. But yeah, once again, thank you, Leaky Booty. We're just waiting for these teams to ready up. Uh, just to remind you guys, this is the final game, the final series of the entire tournament. It is Please Sponsor Us versus Method here in the Grand Finals. Though Method, you know, on Twitter and everything, they really weren't, they really did not have the confidence in themselves, it would seem, to get this far in the tournament. Even in Sidu's interview, he's like, oh, this is going to be a really big tournament if we win it, you know what I mean? And they've made it to the Grand Finals. That is a pretty, pretty big deal. Please sponsor us also locking in their position in their Grand Finals. Taking out We Back in the semifinals was a huge series. And, you know, if uh, you are a sponsor out there, I'd keep my eye out on these boys because they're doing quite well. Yeah. I was gonna say if if they if they win this finals, then they, I think they deserve a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, for real. Let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, these are NA's finest here, but it has finally yeah. come. We are finally ready, and it is the first map of this best of seven series on the Grand Arena. Welcome to the Grand Arena. It's Method versus Please Sponsor. Please sponsor us in the Grand Finals. Bean Slayer X, Chan I Am, and Rube Cube have entered the arena. So it looks like Please Sponsor us. They did not want to run FMP or God Comp into Method's WLS. Instead, they're going to run an FLS. And I was saying they've been practicing this earlier, but are they practiced enough to take on Method's main composition of Warrior Lock Shaman? Yeah, definitely. I also need to apologize in advance. I am at some point, because of that name, going to accidentally call that Channimals. So just, <laughs> yeah. just for awareness, it's going to happen. Okay. But anyway, uh, Sam, I am getting the immediate target from Smex in there. He actually just kind of used him as a, uh, a charge target so that he could heroic leap over and get the fear on a rub cub. Follows that up with the storm bolt. Uh, Sam, I am actually already in a fair amount of trouble here right at the start. But please sponsor us doing a good job turning around that pressure as much as possible and making sure that Method can't feel too comfortable uh, just yet. Yet, not wanting to push out too far. No major cooldowns defensively, at least, have been used just yet. We do have the Incarn and Berserk out from Bean Slayer at the moment, doing his best to keep up as much damage as possible. See you actually getting kind of low there. Uh, and then Bean Slayer actually throwing the uh, Cyclone on him before leaping over onto uh, Snuts there for just a second. Does manage to force out the uh, Dark Regen from Snuts. Uh, but Method's still doing a pretty good job of keeping themselves alive through this pressure and turning it back around as much as possible onto Bean Slayer and primarily focusing on Sam I Am. Yeah, now CD getting swapped to by Bean Slayer once again, actually getting knocked out in the middle of the map here. Great job by him, but, uh, you know, Chan I Am to follow it up on the, the two. There's the main going out onto CD, dipping him down to 26% here. He's not going to go and overreact just yet. He's going to just get a full heal there and be a completely fine. Stormbolt going out onto Rub Cub, though, and it looks like Smexen has his number, dipping him down to 50% there, uh, swapping back over. It looks like Snuts is just going to pull back. He does have this Demon Soul rolling, as well as Smexen's Avatar method, just ready to do some huge. Huge amounts of damage here moving forward into it. Looking at this FLS, they're doing a great job utilizing the, you know, the cross CC and the pressure advantage that the FLS have, it would seem. But uh, Bean Slayer is just never giving c a free moment. See, Rub Cub caught into that full fear, though. Chan I Am has got to be careful. He's going to port back, but it's not really that great of a port as Smexen's right back <laughs> on his tail, dipping him down to 45% healthier. The Shadow Fury going out onto Smexen. c caught in that maim into the full cycle and on the back. And Bean Slayer, you know, swapping back and forth is really forcing c to fall behind here slowly but surely. 
Yeah, the constant uh, CC on the CDU, even though it's not really forcing any cooldowns out, is at the very least making sure that he can't get the opportunity to completely top off his team, which allows a lot in terms of those sudden swaps. CDU now continually having to sort of kite, trying to get away from Beanslayer right now, actually ports over, gets caught into that main, could be in a little bit of trouble right here, uh, may end up having to drop a Spirit Link here, gets caught into the bash as well. No Spirit Link, but he does use his Trinket uh, to try and get away. Well, Rub Cub dips super low there for just a second, and Smexen as well. Everybody in this entire game right now is actually getting pretty low on health. Rub Cub gets caught in that Shadow Fury. He's getting dangerously, dangerously close to that Execute range, so he's going to go ahead and drop that Spirit Link uh, and get a little bit of a heal there. But Rub Cub's still super low. Snut's super low as well. Everybody's health is just so low at this point in time that we could see a death at any moment. Oh Cedar down gosh. to 16% health. Does manage to get the Spirit Link off. Gets caught into the stun right after that, but the Spirit Link will keep him alive for now. Uh, but so much damage coming out from Please Sponsor is putting Method very heavily on the back foot through this. Sidu does manage to top himself back up again, uh, but Rub Cub has also had the opportunity to do that as well. Bean Slayer may be in a little bit of trouble there. Does actually use his final uh, uh, SI there. His Survival Instinct's final SI has been used. Uh, he's going to go back in here and continue putting pressure onto Sidu. Rub Cub now caught into that full fear. Can they make a kill happen onto Chanayam here? He's getting super low, just barely above Execute range. Just that Earth Shield tick was enough to keep him above Execute range there for just but a Cidu second. Sidu getting now, so Spexing low, man. Sidu actually yeah, dipping Cidu. down to 10% health there. And that's his final final spirit link that's going to be used, and he is feeling the pressure of this FLS. However, Rub Cub, you know, he's really aggressive with these purges as well, and it shows in his mana. Snuts dipping down so low now at 30% health here. This incarnation for Beanslayer is just doing work, the team of Method. Smexen now trying to turn it around with his avatar, trying to get this Feral Druid out from his back line, but can Sidu keep his, keep his team up? The Shadow Fury goes out the last second, but it doesn't matter. Snuts goes down, and please sponsor us. Change to the Feral Lock Shaman it is going to take out Snuts here for Team Method, and it looks like Please Sponsor Us are also going to be taking game number one, unless it looks like Method actually might be staying. Nope, they're going to go ahead and leave. Uh, taking a quick look at that replay, I really do think that, you know, that cross pressure and, you know, how aggressive Rub Cub really was with his purges worked out well for them. It was really hard for them to, you know, come back from that. Uh, a major defensive cooldown, as you guys know, for Wrestler Shamans is those Spirit Links. So when you have everyone at low health and you can't, uh, you know, Spirit Link one person's health back up because everyone's health is low, it makes it really, really difficult to, you know, use those reset buttons. They just don't work the same way. And it worked out perfectly for Please Sponsor Us, I feel like, here in game number one against Methods WLS. I'm looking at the scoreboard as well at the end. Method uh, Smexen got a 132.8k Mortal Strike. <laughs> that is a big chunk of damage, and that, that is what creates the Smexicute opportunities. But unfortunately for Smexen, he was not able to finish that off. Uh, please sponsor us doing an amazing job surviving through all of that damage uh, and still able to pull out that win. That was an epic first game in this series. Great way to start off this finals. Yeah, it really was. You know, shout out to uh, please sponsor us for having that adaptation. You know, I talked to Rub Cub a little bit in, in, in the interview, and he kept saying over and over and over again, please don't give us Lock Shaman. Please. And, you know, <laughs> they're adapting. They, they, they knew they were going into the finals. They saw Tempo Storm. You know, they saw the potential people who were going to be playing Lock Shaman. And they, you know, I saw them on stream. They practiced Pharaoh Lock Shaman. You know, they had that additional tool in their toolkit to be able to adapt to these situations. And that's really, uh, in my opinion, what, uh, you know, differentiates, like, the good and the best. And uh, it looks like uh, we're going to take a quick break for Method to, you know, take a moment and just talk it out and figure out what it is they need to do. And I think that's a really smart move. I mean, this Feral Lock uh, Shaman composition from uh, this team definitely seemed like they had the advantage against the way uh, Method was playing the WLS. Um, but, I mean, they have adapted in the past. Maybe they can adapt here in this situation as well. Please sponsor us up now 1-0 in this best of seven. Whew. Yeah, this... I'm, I'm excited for this series. I actually really like watching FLS versus WLS as well. It's very interesting to me, just the subtle differences, because obviously you have the Lock Shaman, and that stays pretty much the same between both comps. Uh, but having the Warrior versus having the Feral Druid. The Feral has a little bit more constant pressure, but the burst is really only inside that Incarn. They do have some burst potential, but it, they're really kind of hinge on that Incarn, whereas Spexit on the, on the Warrior... Uh, he doesn't have quite as much of the constant pressure unless he's able to really stick to a target for a long period of time because uh, he doesn't have those bleeds. But what he does have is those sudden death executes, which can come out of nowhere and put a whole chunk of damage and also apparently 133k mortal strikes can also put a whole bunch of damage into you out of nowhere. So it's kind of a matter of one team is going for 
yeah, they got the burst with the Incarn, but outside of that, they sort of fall back on that constant pressure that they're able to put out. Whereas Method uh, is is able to, with their with their WLS, they're able to uh, focus a little bit more on those hard swaps and finding those opportunities to put a big chunk of damage into it. Uh, the differences aren't huge between the way that the two teams play, because like I say, there is, Please Sponsor Us does still have that burst potential, that sudden burst potential, even with the Feral Druid, um, because uh, in Karn, but also they, they just can do a lot of damage in a hurry if they really want to. But it still ends up being really interesting just watching the subtle differences between the two uh, play styles and the way the two comps play. Definitely, man. And, you know, you actually can see the adaptations from the two shamans in the way they play the matchup, too, because, you know, Rub Cub, he has to deal with that, that random spike damage versus Sidu, you know, he has to almost be frugal with, uh, you know, st saving as much as he can throughout the game as he gets harder and harder to heal through. And that's why, like, the swap over on the Rub Cub, he actually just trinket links and then pops Ascendance. He's like, all mm -hmm. right. All right, you got the deeps. I'm just going to go ahead and trade it up and respect that. Uh, versus Sido, you know, like everyone getting lower and lower and lower, he's holding on to a sentence. He's holding on to both his links, uh, you know, trying to bring the game out longer um, because of the spread pressure. He, he has to keep a level head. But if there is a shaman that needs to keep a level head when it comes to spread pressure and keeping his teammates alive, I, there is very few as equipped as Sido with his experience. Like, how many times and times again have we seen Sido in a tournament where his whole team is just so low, but he just somehow keeps him alive? It's it's pretty <laughs> incredible. Yeah. The first thing that pops yeah. into my head is that the the Windwalker Lock Shaman again at BlizzCon, like where they were just screaming, and they're all alive. How are they alive? <laughs> and this pops into my head every time. But uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Sidu yeah. Sidu and Absturge probably two of the the most notorious shaman for that sort of. My entire team's at ten percent health. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna cast a healing wave. <laughs> That'll solve all of my problems, sure. And then, the, then it does, and they get away with it. And you're like, "What? How did you even? How did you even cast that? First of all, yeah. without getting interrupted or something." Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's actually very, very. Uh, it's actually props to Rub Cub for taking the Lock Shaman versus Method. Like Snuts and Sidu, incredibly talented Warlock and Shaman, and uh, Rub Cub and Sam I am saying, you know what? We're just as good. We're everybody. In fact, they won. So. Major props to them for taking on the, um, I, you could call them bigger names, and coming out on, with a victory. Yeah, no, absolutely. The adaptation from Rub Cub and Sam I Am here uh, in this scenario is really, really cool. This is exactly what I love to see here in a tournament scenario because, you know, every now and then you do run into counters. Every now and then you do run into that composition that you just really don't want to face with the, your main composition. And, you know, they're adapting and they're finding ways to not just get, you know, not just like take the counter in and like and then lose. They're, they're adapting and they're playing and, you know, they're adding more to the tool belt. So really hats off to them. Uh, but we saw Method do the same thing. They ran that warrior mage shaman earlier and they, they learned how the composition went and, you know, gave us a 3-0 against Splice. So both these teams yep. are super capable of it. And we're going to be waiting on uh, compositions as well as the map choices from these guys. Actually, we have a map choice from Method. Looks like they're going to bring it to Tiger's Peak, which is uh, very similar, like we were talking about earlier, to New Grand Arena. Very, very, you know, um, balanced map choice uh, here going into the second game. And, uh, yeah. I wonder I wonder if uh, now that uh, they know what composition that they're going to be locking in preemptively, if Method is going to adapt to that, or are they just going to go ahead and try to lock Shaman Warrior uh, the FLS once again uh, like the mind games every single time is pretty crazy uh, with this format they can uh, they can do quite a bit here in this scenario um, but uh, shout out to Snuts too like <coughs> playing on that mage at the level that he was playing earlier today was actually so much fun to watch that was really really cool and um, going into this in this next game I don't really think that that warrior lock or, I'm sorry, Warrior Mage Shaman is the is the comp choice they want against FLS. But I could very well be wrong because it worked so great for them earlier. You know what I mean? So, we're yeah. going to see. Yeah, it really depends on... I, honestly, I think at that point, like, you're sort of splitting hairs already. I, I think it kind of comes down to their confidence in their ability to play that individual right. composition and how they feel their opponents are going to be able to deal with it. They know that Sam I Am is usually a mage and he's got his most experience on a mage and that's the sort of thing... That's the sort of knowledge that you can exploit uh, whereas they can possibly do that in reverse with Snuts obviously being a, a very well-known 
uh, Warlock and Sam I Am uh, being known for his mage, but now playing his Warlock instead. That's the sort of thing you could say, well, our Warlock, we feel our Warlock is better than your Warlock, so maybe we're going to stick with the Lock Shaman Mirror and just try to outlock Shaman you. Um, there's, there's just a lot of, uh, again, a lot of mind games that go on with this sort of situation here, which is why we're seeing uh, both teams just thinking so hard about which composition they want to be able to play. I'd love to hear like the, the communication of this team, man. That was actually one of the best parts about uh, you know working with you guys uh, throughout uh, BlizzCon was I was on stage and I got mm. to hear what these guys were saying and you know it was the coolest thing ever to me. It was like a little nerd dream come true hearing these teams like you know figure out what it is that they want to do going into the next game and uh, listening to them it, it seemed awesome and you know the the level of mind play that we're talking about right now it's even multiplied uh, from these players too like they they go mm. even deeper than this so. Uh, I can't wait to see what these guys actually choose going into this next game. But every decision that these guys make is going to be a big deal moving forward in this series. You know, at this point, theoretically, if there was a composition advantage to be utilized from both these teams, it should go back and forth according to the format giving the advantage. So if it does go back and forth, Method is going to have to beat um, um, da, 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 please sponsor us on one of their map choices, on one of their composition yeah. advantage maps. And um, so they're going to have to and also win every time on their own map choices. But we've seen it go back and forth like crazy in the past. We've seen teams actually lose on their own map choices, but win on their opponent's map choices every time. Yeah. <laughs> it actually it can go either way for sure. But uh, these teams are just getting ready. If you're just joining us now, welcome to GCD TV. Uh, we are in the grand final series between Please Sponsor Us and Method. Now, this is the big shot. This is for all the marbles here in GCD TV, the Winter Pro League. And uh, it looks like we did get composition confirmation from the admin. It's going to be Feral Lock Shaman for Please Sponsor Us and Warrior Mage Shaman for Method. So maybe we're going to see okay. uh, the, you know, the same matchup we saw earlier against uh, when Method uh, brought this out against Splice. This Warrior Mage Shaman practice that they, guys, they put in is now paying their way in gold if they can do the same thing uh, against Please Sponsor Us. Yeah, and you kind of kind of think as well, like maybe they weren't expecting the FLS from uh, please sponsor us for for whatever reason. Like maybe they were expecting because the the first map is the blind pick, right. so maybe they were expecting uh, them to do something that they wanted to play the. Uh, I'm not, I'm not as familiar with the different compositions that please sponsor us has available, but maybe they were expecting them to play something that they would want that WLS for to be able to play against, and then uh, please sponsor us just sort of won the mind game there and said, no, we're going to play FLS into you and got the win. And so now Method is able to say, because they do have that map and comp choice advantage, they're able to say, okay, you're gonna play FLS, we're gonna play WMS, because we did so well with that earlier uh, against against Splice, who was an amazing team that they were super worried about. So going up against these guys, I, I think this choice makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, uh, let's see if they can be consistent with this composition, Warrior Mage Shaman. But you know, I really do like the FLS choice coming out from Police Sponsors because the other two compositions they have uh, that they played in previous tournaments are, uh, you know, Feral Mage Paladin as well as Shadow Priest Mage Paladin. And I, both of mm. those teams uh, struggle against Lock Shaman. So you know, making uh, yeah. you know making Method go on the lesser played composition, uh, I think is probably their best bet. Uh, but here we go. We're going to be uh, jumping into this series here very, very soon. Uh, we did just get a new subscriber. Thank you so much, Disney Man PvP. I appreciate that. Oh, wow. We actually got two new subscribers. I am sorry. I missed that. Metamo Metamo Metaphor IKX. Metaphoric X. Duh. Thank you so Metaphoric. much for that. Metaphoric Metaphoric X. I appreciate that subscription, man. As well as Disney Man PvP. Welcome to the team. Shadow Sil Silveria. I know who you are. I terrible at pronouncing names, but I really do appreciate Shadow. That two month in a row month two month in a row resub words. <laughs> I got him out though. Uh, teams are still discussing, getting ready to queue up for this next game here of this best of seven series between Method and please sponsor us. You know, this is this is it, man. This is for all the marbles. You know they want to put their best foot forward here going into this series. And uh, they are taking their sweet time. And uh, I, I, honestly, if I was in their position, I would take every delay minute I have available every time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's worth noting that there is an allowance of delay time that they have available to them. Uh, there's a limit to that allowance of delay time. But, uh, yeah, they absolutely should be taking as much time as possible. These are extremely important matches. Uh, for both of these teams to be playing here so 
uh, do not at all begrudge the extra time they're taking to make sure that they've got all the whatever plan it is that they're working on. Like, do we go on the mage? Do we go on the shaman? All of that, uh, getting some time to really think about that ahead of time. And here we go. Looks like they are finally ready to jump right into the games. And the first or the second map is going to be Tiger's Peak as we see Smexen, Snuts, and CD are going to enter the arena. Uh, they are going to be playing on Alliance, so they're looking for that additional damage instead of the stun reduction. I think that's smart against a Feralock Shaman, you know, having that additional yeah. damage. Um, but Bean Slayer and Chan I Am, as aka mm -hmm. Sam I Am, and Rube Cube <laughs> are going to be playing the Feral Lock Shaman against this Warrior Mage. I love seeing a Fury Warrior in this arena, man. Smexen. Just does so much damage. You know, his consistent pressure definitely seems like it's less on his Fury Warrior. As, as rightfully so. It's Fury. But when he has that damage, when he has that Fury saved up and he just spends it, oh man, something somebody's health bar is shrinking quickly. Absolutely, yeah. That's the that's just what we've seen out of Smexen so many times. Um, same with Joe Fernandez, really, is just when you see these warriors playing both specs at a really, really high level. They're really looking for which which of these two specs in this comp, uh, up up against this comp, do I feel is going to give me the best opportunity for those just sudden bursts of damage. So here we go. The gates are now open. Smexen charging in here right away, trying to lock out uh, Sam I Am on his uh, portal, but does not look like he was actually able to do it. The portal was already down at that time. Uh, Rub Cub getting caught into a full fear there, but Sidu into a bash as well. Smexen uh, actually leaping back over here just to try and get with his team and make sure he can keep his team on. Uh, on the offensive as much as possible, but so far, please sponsor us is doing an amazing job in terms of overall pressure here. Chan, uh, excuse me, Sam, I am with that Dark Soul active has been rotting down the entire team of Method already. Does get caught into a sheep there for just a second, but he's going to come right back out of that with that dispel. Uh, Bean Slayer caught into the stun for a moment, taking a good chunk of damage actually from Spexen and Snuts there. Bean Slayer could be in some trouble here. Rub Cub actually caught into a follow up polymorph. Are they going to be able to keep the extra pressure going onto him? The Frost Jaw now on the Rub Cub. He does manage to get get the uh, spirit link out but that's his trinket and his spirit link available or that's been used excuse me and uh, that's going to be a big deal as this match continues yeah Sidu he uses ascendancy he's used his trinket so far to deal with the onslaught of please sponsor a spread pressure and so far it seems like it's going pretty good for uh, both of these teams honestly there's still lots of opportunity but Sidu's going to be pulling back once again as Bean Slayer is swapping over onto him Maim goes out onto Smexen and look at this damage that Cham Am is putting out with Bean Slayer with that demon soul Bash now follows it up on to Sidu. Snuts Mage getting stopped on that CC with the Shadow Fury as well. And uh, once again, Method is just on the back foot. They gotta get aggressive though, even though they're so, so low on health. This is the Avatar coming out from Smexen, but he's so low. This is the Deep Freeze on the Rub Cub. They gotta make something happen here. He has no trinket available to him. He does have that one Spirit Link. He's trying to hold on to it, seems trying to juke a cast as well. Sidu's keeping his team aggressive as Rub Cub is getting dangerously low. The charge done on the Avatar as well into the fear to interrupt that cast. Looks like they're just gonna be swapping the pressure out now at this point. Chan I am getting caught into that polymorph where Stone Bolt goes out onto Bean Slayer, and they're just gonna let leave Rub Club alone for now and just kind of continue to you know stabilize here. But Sidu, his mana is definitely being tapped because of all this spread pressure. Already dipping down to 45% health here. Not too different though for Rub Cub, you know, having to deal with the setups over and over and over again. So method, they're still in it for now, regardless of the consistent pressure that this FLS has been putting out. Smexen actually spell reflected a cyclone onto Bean Slayer there, and now that looks like they're actually trying to use that as a uh, uh, an opportunity to move back in and do some reverse pressure out of this. Uh, Bean Slayer has been able to get off a lot of cyclones that uh, he really shouldn't have been able to, with how we've seen Smexen interrupting those in previous matches. Uh, so being able to get that one interrupt could knock him off kilter here. See you caught into that bash for a second, dropping Snuts down pretty low. Snuts does have both ice blocks available. Is he going to be able to avoid using them? The Spirit Link is going to come out, uh, but with uh, every member on that team so low already it doesn't actually do very much Sidu now down to 30 percent health over here having to sit out of line of sight he does not have a sentence available to be able to top his team off smexen's avatar is active he's trying to put as much damage into bean slayer as possible uh, but bean slayer still just uh, sitting only at around 50 percent health rub cub doing an amazing job keeping his team alive through that pressure gets Ooh. caught in the deep freeze for just a second he's going to go ahead and trinket that and use his final remaining spirit link to keep bean slayer alive but oh the triple gosh. catch stun comes out he could just die right here down to 20 percent 16 percent and there's the execute coming out from Smexen, Method with that triple cap stun suddenly able to reverse that around onto Please Sponsor Us. 
and take this game and come back in this series to tie it up one to one. Oh my gosh, you know CD's feeling good about that. You know he's feeling <laughs> good about that. That triple cap stun, man. Uh, look at this team. They're falling so far behind. CD still has this trinket link available to him, but when, like you said, when everyone's at low health, that doesn't really do all that much. Bean Slayer, without a wall though, here is taking so much damage, and Rub Cub knows it. He knows he's going to have to deal with the next CC that lands on him. There's the deep freeze. He trinket links right away. It breaks the polymorph because of it, but they just swap it over on a Rub Cub. He's got nothing to deal with. He has that ore mastery, but the cap stun, the triple cap stun, the pog champ, and there you have it. <laughs> Method is going to tie up the series one to one here in this best of seven, and they are not out of it just yet. No, sir. No tilting for Team Method. Not today. Yeah, indeed. And that, that's got to be a victory that feels pretty good for them saying, okay, yeah, that first match, whatever, we can we can do this. But they do now have to win on Please Sponsor Us's map choice if they want to uh, win this next game. It will be Please Sponsor Us's option now uh, to come back uh, and choose whatever they want into what Method has available. Uh, and this is... It, it, that first match ends up being so important because please sponsor us, even though they lost that, they only have to win on their own map picks from here on. Yep, that's absolutely correct. Uh, from here on out is absolutely correct. So it is currently tied one to one. Uh, and now Method swapping over to this Warrior Mage Shaman composition. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about this exact setup uh, against Splice. And it seemed like uh, some maps that was very difficult for, you know, uh, Method specifically was those larger maps. Those larger maps that force Method to have to push in uh, and to, you know, like Smexen, he's he's melee, obviously. So he has to, on Tolveron Arena, he'd have to run across that very large plane. I'm sure he had like a Heroic Leap or whatever. But not only that, but Snuts, he has to get those deeps. He's got to get those setups as well. So forcing him to blink in as well. And, you know, uh, you know having the, uh, the uh, advantage positionally could be a really big factor here moving forward into the series. It uh, looks like, whoa, very opposite as a large map choice is going to be coming out from um, Please Sponsor Us. They're going to bring it to Ruins of Order on, you know, kind of free up. It's going to be very difficult. I mean, we've seen Sidu and this entire team just dropping down from the pressure of this FLS. And uh, they're doing a great job dealing with it. But on a map like Ruins of Order on, if they need to stabilize, they're not going to have much room to do so. Yeah, and it does give uh, Please Sponsor Us the opportunity to pull Smexen out pretty far away from the rest of his team. We saw uh, in the series they played against Splice Method. Uh, when they played against, was it against Splice? I, I believe it was yeah. against the, the series they played against Spi Splice. Uh, when Splice went to Tolveron, uh, they were able to do that and make sure that Smexen couldn't interrupt those Cyclones. It's a little bit different with the Cyclones coming from a Feral Druid versus coming from a Resto Druid, uh, but it is still an opportunity that will be available for him. So I think this map choice from Please Sponsor Us makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, the other thing that I, I just want to point out because I find it entertaining is that Rub Cub managed to do five damage in that last game. <laughs> he wasn't somebody. even where it was. It was possible to no. It was from a flame shock. Wait, what? I, I wasn't even aware it was. I, he must have been killing a totem or something that uh, only had five health or something like that. But I, I think totems have more. They they, they definitely have. They, like maybe he killed one of the weird like extra totems that if you have the glyph that drops the four totems, yeah. he killed one of those and somehow only did five damage. I, I was not aware it was possible to do five damage with anything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like anymore, a melee swing but... would do like seventy or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is very interesting. MVP, dude. But yeah. That five damage. Who knows? It could have been like. No, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can think of is that he killed one of the fake totems. Like, he accidentally. He was trying to kill a spirit link or something, and he clicked on the earth totem that appears when you have the glyph that drops the, the three extra totems. Right. That's the only thing I can think of. Either that, or he flame shocked into like 400 cooldowns. And then the game ended before the flame shot could do anything else. But he that was impossible because he was getting the crap beat out of him at the time. So I, I have no idea how that's even possible, but it's entertaining. <laughs> All right. So here's my theory crafting. What could have happened? What if they were killing a spirit link totem and one ice lance didn't kill it, but left it only with five health and he ended and he killed that spirit link totem. Mm. I feel like the that actually happening is probably the most impossible scenario so far. <laughs> oh, chat chat has pointed out the error of my ways. Uh, every totem actually has five health, so it wouldn't it wouldn't have been one of the other ones. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's you, like if a you don't have something. the if yeah. yeah if you don't have the glyph. Uh, that's that's what, so that's that's where my mistake was. My bad. So yeah, he was definitely just killing a totem. Probably killed, still entertaining. Like, to see. Totem. Five damage and then yeah. like ten million right next to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still still entertaining to see 
usually uh, the scoreboard at the end. You know, damage. Uh, I don't think the scoreboards here actually pick it up, but the damage um, from like spirit links. Did he even have to spirit link that game though? Yes, he did. He did have spirit link, so I guess it's not counting uh, the spirit link damage. Hmm. It does count it in recount though. Fun fact. Like you can see the damage done, and uh, it definitely counts it in recount. Don't know. Don't know how that works. <laughs> it's funny nonetheless. All right, we're going to be waiting for these teams to ready up still. It looks like uh, there's just a quick technical issue for Team Method. They just have to reform their party, and we're going to queue right back up into Game 3 of this Best of 7 series between Please Sponsor Us and Method. And uh, so far, we have a back-and-forth series. But that being said, there's only been one series where they played Warrior Mage. So, I don't know. Like, they swapped a Warrior Mage last time, and they just kind of owned like the entire series so we could very well see you know method this catching their stride against this FLS but we are going to have a much smaller map it's ruins of Lordaeron I'll see you all in just one hot minute All right, welcome to Ruins of Orderon, and Snuts has swapped back over to his Warlock for this map choice. Maybe he's thinking, you know, on a smaller map like this, where he can get that damage rolling, he just wants to lock Shaman Duel. Please sponsor us. Yeah, just try and outlock Shaman, uh, the lock, the FLS of Please Sponsor Us. It's a, it, it makes perfect sense. I do think the FLS has the, the little bit of the advantage here, and obviously this map choice is theirs as well, but we'll see if that ends up mattering for them here as we are moving in, Beanslayer moving out here immediately, just looking for that initial target and just watching to see what the rest of the teammates do. Me Method is not going to sit in the back this time, no. Uh, Smexen is going to just charge in right away. He does get uh, stunned and cycloned off of that right away, so he's going to be caught out over here and not really able to help his team for the time being. Is there any follow-up CC on him? No, he is going to be able to come back over here and rejoin with his team, and not too much has actually been accomplished as of yet. Neither team has really committed fully into the damage out. There's the Incarn now, though, coming out from Beanslayer. He's putting as much damage as he can into Seadu, now swapping over. Looks like he wants to go on to Snuts. A nice stun there from Snuts is going to limit that, and Beanslayer actually takes quite a bit of damage force to use the first of his survival instincts, uh, and this uh, this uh, initial push from Please Sponsor Us is really not going well for them right now. Chan, I am actually dipping super low there for just a second. He uses the Dark Regen, catches is a big heal from Rub Cub as well, but even through the Dark Regen, he may still be going down, down to 20%. They're going to swap it over onto Rub Cub, uh, who's going to try and get some. He gets locked on his nature. He could be in a lot of trouble right here. He does use the Hellstone and trying to get that healing surge out. Now he's finally able to land some healing surges, uh, and so Smexen's going to move off of him and start looking at something else. But meanwhile, Please Sponsor Us has been doing work to Method this entire time, dipping them down really, really low. Snuts hovering around 30%. Seadu hovering around 30%. Snuts could just go down right here, down to 10%, taking tons of damage has not yet used his dark regen hanging on to that being super greedy with it and method trying to stay as aggressive as possible but is it going to work out for them please sponsor us is just wearing them down little by little yeah demon soul and berserk are going to be fading for please sponsor us. so hopefully method's going to be able to catch their stride and heal through this but the avatar now comes back off a of cooldown stormbolt onto rub cub he's taking a whole bunch of damage from smexen and smexen is ready to get that charge done on him and there it goes to follow up bringing him down to 50 percent healthier he's got to be careful of getting locked out again but the the cyclone on the sea do and snuts getting maimed up he's got to be careful smexen's going to pull back from now and try to play a little bit more defensively forcing chan i am to play defensive as well but if you just look at the control and the consistent pressure that Police Sponsor is putting out. Uh, it's definitely very difficult. Seedu, he feels a little bit comfortable here. He's going to get some lava burst out. Chan am getting lower and lower as Rupko's put into that full fear. Seedu getting maimed up though. Smexing getting shadow furied. Police Sponsor is doing a great job just trying to stop the momentum of the damage that Method is putting out. But both these teams are really feeling the pressure at this point. Chan am going to go ahead and pop that Demon Soul and get aggressive once again. Seedu getting bashed up, getting lower and lower at 50% health here. No one to Spirit Link for a while. Smexing knows it. He's going to charge back 
back in to the room to let Cedo use that spear link if he needs to. But Cedo's just gonna turn it around and get those lava bursts back in their face. And now Method once again is aggressive. The charge then goes out on the Robcub from Smexen back towards the tombs. And whenever Robcub pushes out, Smexen is there to punish him for that. Double Shadow Fury coming out from Chanayam on both the DPS, uh, or I'm sorry, F Snuts and Cedo of Method. The Demon Soul for Snuts though is gonna be very painful for Please Sponsor Us. Stormbolt on the Robcub. Smexen's avatar is up. They gotta be careful. B knows this shaman's in trouble. He's gonna pull back and try to peel Smexen. Smexen's gotta be careful though. He's getting dangerously low in health too. Can Rub Cub deal with this? He's in execute range. Ooh. He's forced to use the spirit link, but he's still in trouble. Can he survive through the avatar of Smexen? It's gonna be fading in a short second. The avatar has popped, but their whole team is rotting down. Hex is even going out from Sidu on the channels to try to stop the momentum of police sponsors, but they're turning it back around with the Shadow Fury of Chan I am. Great job by Please Sponsor Us, you know, to pull it back out through that. And Rub Cub, and he's gonna leave that with his trinket and a spirit link available to the next setup. Cedu actually yeah, just Cedu got now locked out. A little bit of trouble. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting in a, a lot of trouble over here, down to 39% health. He does he did have his trinket available, he used it right there. Uh, so fortunately for him, he did that have available. He has his ascendance now, which he's gonna go ahead and use as well and top his team back off. Nice uh, cyclone onto Smex in there, just preventing him from doing the continued pressure onto police sponsors. But the double fear comes out onto uh, Sam I am and Rub Cub. Sam I am does get broken out of it, but Rub Cub's still feared over here. The stun comes out onto him. He's gonna trinket that stun right away. He does still have his ascendance and one spirit link available. Uh, but Bean Slayer is taking so much damage he needs to move over to him if he wants to get that spirit link off and he is going to actually use that spirit link uh and top uh, get bean slayer back up a little bit here and now cdu caught into this bash no trinket available uh no real damage going into him though the double stun comes out from chan i am this reverse stun though on the rub cub down to 14 percent health he's hovering right around execute range oh it's mexen's looking for that execute the he's main. not finding it though the maim saves him and a big heal lands on a rub cub it's going to heal him back up and allow please sponsor us to turn it back around onto method cdu is getting super super he drops the spirit link, but Smexen was not in it immediately. Uh, does manage to get into it and get that extra healing out on the rest of his team. Uh, but now, please sponsor us, looking to be a very, very strong at the moment. However, Rub Cub's mana is getting super, super low, and that's so important in these Lock Shaman matchups uh, for that mana pool to remain as high as possible. He's having to spend it like crazy. Uh, uh, Smexen, once again, just getting aggressive on the Rub Cub, never giving him the opportunity to really sit back and rest up. So you caught into the main for just a second. Is there any follow up? CC doesn't really look like it. He's just going to be able to continue healing like crazy. Uh, and he's actually been able to keep his water shield on himself for quite a large portion of the smash, whereas Rub Cub keeps having to earth shield himself. And I think that's why we're seeing such a big differential in the mana. Now the recklessness is coming out from Smetson. Is he going to be able to make something happen onto us? His entire team is so low. He needs to make something happen very, very soon. Snuts in trouble down to 20% health. Does not, excuse me, does have his dark regen available, has not used it just yet. Uh, so he may have that opportunity if he really, really, really needs it. Uh, but it's just looking so scary for him right now. Gets a big heal from Cedu. Going to put him back up. This game is just so intense and back and forth now bean slayer is dipping pretty low there does not have a survival instincts available do they have any cc for rub cub does not look like it just yet this triple uh, excuse me double shadow fury comes out onto that cyclone stopping bean slayer from getting the counter cc and he gets feared with the blood horror off of that that they've swapped over onto sam i am just trying to put damage into him as well sam i am does not have dark regen rub cub is getting so low on mana the storm bolt comes out he trinkets that right away with a double charge stun comes out are they going to get him right here the hex lands on the rub cub preventing any follow-up healing and that's going to be a game a second game for method going up 2-1 versus please sponsor us wow and what a game that was on ruins of order on the spread pressure was incredible and down to the very end there where uh you know channels or chan i am i'm sorry chan i am uh, dropped down to the execute range um i thought it could go literally either way looking at the mana pools looking at the tools that both these teams had available to them i feel like it could have gone either way but they found that opportunity they landed it and there they go method gonna take a 2-1 lead against please sponsor us here on ruins of order on and wow you know that double charge stun <laughs> was a pretty big deal at yeah. the very end there on to rub cub you know the followed up with the hex of course from cdu that was intense and we're going to be going into game number four now and the mind games are pretty real ruins of order on all right let's lock shaman do it up and uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't know where Method is going to bring their next composition. I mean, if uh, Fleet Sponsor stick with that Feral Lock, or stick with the FLS, uh, is Method going to pick w WMS, or are they going to pick WLS? And it looks like um, they're actually choosing specifically to the map. Like, on a map like that, they want to Lock Shaman yep. them up. But, uh, I mean, what if they bring it to a larger map? Are we going to see Warrior Mage again? So we're just going to go ahead and wait on those map choices as well as the composition choices from both these teams. 
Um, but the mind games definitely seem real here in uh, the finals of the Pro League. Yeah, I do wonder if we'll end up seeing Tolveron. We were talking about it a little bit before. Um, it, it is it is an interesting, very different map choice. Um, and if if it's not working for them on the smaller maps, maybe the the larger maps uh, would make excuse me would make sense for them. Um, but I'm actually just really curious to see what they pick. It's very hard for me to predict at this point which map they may end up wanting to go for because w with ruins, I mean, they could go. Uh, could they go sewers? Yeah, they could go sewers still. Um, because it was uh, it was Nagrand and then Tiger's Peak was the second game, uh, right. so they could go sewers still if they want to stick on a smaller map. But maybe they just want to change it up entirely and go for a larger one. Maybe even go for something like Blade's Edge, uh, where the uh, the warlock can use the the vertical port um, and the gateway as well. Obviously, there's a warlock on both team. I would fully expect Method to uh, counterpick with the the warrior lock shaman themselves in that if it was that map. But right. I, I don't know. There, I can I can think of reasons for every map to <laughs> to make sense right now. So I'm really curious to see which one they go for. What I think please sponsors should do in this scenario because they are the winner, or I'm sorry, the loser of the last match. So they have that map. They have the comp choice advantage. Uh, I would pick a map that their that method would be more you know enticed to pick the warrior. Uh, mage, or I'm sorry, the warrior. Actually, yeah. Now, now I think about it, what composition <laughs> is it that Police Sponsors even wants to face? They lost to the warrior mage, and then they just lost to the warrior lock on a small map. So if yeah. they bring it to a big map, they'll just go warrior mage. But at the same time, warrior mage isn't going to be their main composition, is it? So they still do have that going for them. At the same time, uh, you know, these guys, both Rub Cub is playing a shaman, and Sam I Am is playing a warlock. So the you know. All of these players doing a fantastic job at adapting to the scenario and just showing the level of play that they're really capable of. It has been an absolute pleasure to see these guys go neck and neck with each other here in the finals. Um, so before we jump into the, the next series, or the next game I should say, uh, we did get a couple new subscribers as well. I just want to point out we had a new subscriber. His name is Lemus HD. Thank you so much, Lemus, for that subscription. The one and only Minpoike has also subscribed. Thank you so much, Minpoike, for that subscription. Man, I really do appreciate that. Uh, only Human 1993 has also subscribed. Only Human, your name sounds very familiar to me. I don't know why, but thank you, Only Human, for that subscription. And the newest subscriber has been w William JC, who has just subscribed. And now our sub goal is now at 252 out of our 300 sub goals. So that is pretty phenomenal, considering we still don't have a sub goal. Uh, prize for you guys yet but if you guys have any ideas to what it is you want our sub goal prize to be at 300 subs tweet us at gcdtv underscore and uh oh it looks like we did get a map lock in um from the admin and uh tolvron is going to be the map choice so my first assumption is that we're going to see a warrior mage composition come out from uh method yeah i i would definitely expect the the warrior mage shaman pick here and maybe Maybe uh, Police Sponsorist is now thinking, okay, we felt a little bit better again, even though they won against the uh, uh, the WLS in the first game on the Grand, maybe they felt a little bit better against the WMS uh, in the second map, uh, even though they, they lost on it. This, this doesn't make a lot of sense the way that I'm saying it. This, this made a lot more <laughs> sense in my head before I started talking, but maybe they feel like now that they've lost to the, uh, the WLS on the smaller map, they think, okay, well, let's try going against the W, because they know they're going to pick the WMS. So they could say, maybe we can go against that on the larger map, and this would give them the opportunity to change up their composition if they really want to and go for that instead, because it is they are very likely to pick that WMS, so maybe they feel like one of their other compositions can switch up with that a bit. Uh, it's it's kind of a long shot uh, as far as my prediction goes and um, uh, whether or not that's actually uh, what they want, but yeah. No, I think I think it's a solid. I think it, considering of what we've seen so far from these teams, I think you're right on the money. But <laughs> like I said, man, the method they like to make me look silly. They like to make the, like change it. Like yeah. they'll give me this pattern that I will follow, and then they're just like, just kidding. Sucks. <laughs> so uh, these guys are definitely. Uh, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. We did just get a new subscription, and <laughs> I think this is how I pronounce your name. Vinely, thank you so much for that subscription, man. I really do appreciate it. Welcome to the team. We also just get another subscription as well. It's Dez. Thank you so much, is Dez with the underscore. You are also making the dream come true. The the sub train has been actually unbelievable today, and I really do appreciate all the love and support you guys send to GCD TV every single week that we do these tournaments. Um, and yeah, just, we wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. Yeah. 
All right. It's funny. Uh, yeah, we're just <laughs> while just waiting for this cue to come. It's funny. Uh, uh, Min Poike, you mentioned uh, a minute ago as uh, one of the people that just subbed to the stream, he had tweeted at me this morning with the VOD of one of my more embarrassing uh, <laughs> casting snafus. And I have a good number of those, but this was one of the more embarrassing. So at the European regionals, oh no, um, <laughs> where we were sitting, uh, I couldn't see the stage very well. I was also very sick, so just I'm making all sorts of excuses at the moment. But I couldn't see the stage very well. I also couldn't see what people could see on the screen very well. So I like looked behind me, glanced down, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna read off the people that are on the stage. And he was sitting in the middle, and for some reason I thought he was Waz. So I was like, and Waz is there, and then I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like they're gonna play Min Poika. I'm actually really surprised that they're, that they're not gonna bring out Min Poika. And the this. camera that everyone on the stream was seeing was like focused right on Min like his face. face. At the side. <laughs> like, Oh, we, we went to the break and both uh, Jared and Elliot leaned over to me and were like, yeah, that's been Poika. And I'm like, God damn <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, we all have that sometimes. I don't even have the excuse of, <sighs> like, you know, not being able to see what everyone else sees. I do see what everyone else sees, and I make those mistakes too. So it's completely, <laughs> completely yeah. understandable. But it looks like we have a God Comp or a Shadow Priest Frost Mage Holy Paladin coming out from Please Sponsor mm. Us. And Method right away is like, all right, Lock Shaman, bro. Let's do it. That's interesting because the way this would have worked out, Method wouldn't have known uh, Please Sponsor Us as Comp before they locked in the Lock Shaman. So uh, with those mind games, I almost think that maybe Please Sponsor Us was expecting the WMS right. and went into it. And Method knew that they'd be expecting that with the Tolveron pick. But anyway, the match is now getting underway. Smexon immediately charging in on a Merc Mines there. Uh, he did use the Fear, but it looks like a nice Tremor from Sidu expecting that right away. Sidu caught into this Fist of Justice, uh, taking a chunk of damage there, but not too much just yet. It looks like Please Sponsor is actually on the back foot here against this uh, WLS pressure. Merc Mines holding on to his, uh, his, or excuse me, his dispersion as long as possible right now, but Rub Cub's having Sam to use so many cooldowns. on Frost. That was really scary. I'm really sorry to interrupt you. I really thought he no. was about to die right there and uh that recklessness coming out from specs and came uh, down at the very last second and please sponsor us you know they got the link though out of cd threat that he didn't shrink it for it he just traded it up mm. he respected the damage of please sponsor us as godcom and because of that their team just had so much momentum just pushing back everyone is dying sam i am almost got global that was intense but smexon's not done yet he goes for the charge Ooh. he gets the triple fear great job by him the aggression continues on to merc mines it looks like stormbolt to follow it up on to rub cub smexon reconnecting on to merc mines trying to get that damage running horrify goes out on a cdu are they going to swap to it they are they're swapping over on the cdu followed up with the hodge cdu is going to be the kill tucker for now the ice nova lands but merc mines got to be careful as he's trying to get aggressive he has taken the d the deep freeze to follow it up on a cdu he's silenced as well he's going to stone form out of that not using any cooldowns to follow it up but merc Mines getting lower and lower in health is going to catch the bot from Rub Cub. Rub Cub, though, getting interrupted, and Merc Mines is still in a lot of trouble as the dots roll onto him. He has that disperse available to him, but he's going to line of sight and try to hold on to it for now. Great job by Sam Am to stop Smexin with those polys, but the swap over onto Sam Am is going to proc that save of the light. Stormbolt on a Rub Cub is going to force the bubble, mm. and Method is just getting cooldown after cooldown over and over again. Yeah, Sam, I am. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to block there. We actually held on to it, got a nice big heal from Rub Cubs. That's the last block that he will have, uh, is the, the only one that he has left. Nothing available for Rub Cubs for another 20 seconds until he has his cooldown. If Method can keep up this pressure, we could be seeing a very, very quick end to what could be the final game in this series here. Method, their whole team has been, just been so in such a great position this entire time. Now, with this full sheep onto CD, they're going to try and make something happen on the sus. They do silence him. Uh, he is able to use that dark regen through that silence. Silence, but a double fear comes out onto him and Sidu still getting kind of low there. That's going to force out the second spirit link from Sidu. He does still have his ascendance available, but that got his trinket as well. So now Please Sponsor is doing the work they need to to get through those remaining cooldowns that Method has if they want to try and claw their way back into this. Rub Cub does have his trinket now available once again as well, So and one bop remaining. So uh, they do have a couple of options left to try and uh, save the members of their team, specifically Merc Mines, who has not yet used his dispersion either. Uh, but the fear comes out on a Rub Cubs. They're putting some damage into Sam Am. They may decide to go after him instead. Two trinkets used right there from that Shadow Fury. The save by the light is going to
going to proc onto Sam I am. Uh, they have not yet gotten that remaining ice block out of him, but now with a full sheep onto Sidu, the stun onto Snut. Snuts is going to go ahead and trinket out of that stun right away. Sidu just sitting through that full polymorph. Uh, as he, he absolutely has to at this point. He has nothing available to break it. Snuts knows this, and he's just running for his life, trying to kite as much as possible. See you caught into the fear now as well. Snuts does not have dark regen available. That's sheep, uh, follow-up sheep on the CDU. Just constant damage going on to Snuts. If the CC continues, he could be in a lot of trouble here. Uh, he does catch a quick heal there from CDU finally. It looks like they are going to be able to recover, and with the Spirit Link and the uh, the Stone Form now available for CDU once again, they do have some options left to try to survive. They did force the Trinket out from Rubco as well so this next setup could be the game for method yeah it really could method doesn't have a lot to deal with it cdu does have that link but he gets deep frozen the horrify goes out in the snuts smex and trying to stop it with the mass battle flake but they eat it and get the full poly regardless hodge the followed up on the snuts but smex is doing work with the blade storm trying to force these guys defensive into the double shadow fury as well merc mines and saman taking a bunch of damage cdu keeping his team aggressive with another spirit link that's his last one for quite some time though but it looks like merc mines and saman are forced defensive once again and that blade storm you know that mass battle flake smex doing a great job keeping his team in it but Merc Mine's taking a bunch of damage right now he has that disperse available to him he's trying to hold on to it Rub Cub got locked out there for a brief moment but it looks like Merc Mines is going to catch some heals regardless he's going to run away though as the storm bolt lands into the full fear Merc Mines trying to get the mass spell or the mass to spell and he does get locked out he's in a lot of trouble the disperse is forced but now Sam I am haunts connecting on to him is this going to be it for him he has a block available to him he's trying to hold on to it or even does he he might not even be running it say by the light procs Rub Cub can you keep your mage alive Five 5% help remain for him, but he's gonna go oh. down from the Smexicute, and there you have it. Method with the WLS are gonna take game number four in a 3-1 lead against Please Sponsor Us. Whew. Yeah, that, <laughs> uh... I, I honestly, I was surprised that Sam Am was actually running the Evan S glyph there versus the the Smexen, uh and the the lock is what well, the Smexen, the, <laughs> the warrior Smexen. and the lock. <laughs> the you you kind of have to call him his own class sometimes. <laughs> he really, he really is crazy like that. But uh, yeah, I was I was equally surprised that he was running Evan S there, and he was three seconds away from Cold Snap. Uh, which would have given him that big heal as well as that extra Evanesce to be able to use to survive through that. He was so close to surviving through that. But yeah, that's 3-1 for, uh, for Method. Yeah, and they even locked out Rub Cup at the very end there. So Method really smelling blood in the water. And they are just one win away from taking the finals by storm. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually a crazy turn of events. At the very beginning of this tournament, when I showed you guys those interviews, Sidu was like, if we win this tournament, that'll be amazing. And dude, they're one game away from taking this tournament. That is a pretty big deal. You know, you always hear like the jokes, uh, you know, these veteran players, they're washed up this and that. Well, they're kind of making a statement here in this tournament uh, now taking uh, on please sponsor us and grabbing a 3-1 lead here in the grand mm. finals Whew, they gotta yeah, be feeling pretty for, good yeah for everyone in the chat room who is surprised that this is the best of seven i'm also surprised that this is the best of seven i didn't actually know that so <laughs> but that's awesome because it means we get to see more games so. <laughs> i'm sorry we should have been a little bit more clear about that uh yeah turns out method is still one game away from winning <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in the middle of that, I was like, oh, this could be the final game. Method could take this and, and win right here. But yeah, no, no, there's still <laughs> another game. They still got more work to do, but they are definitely in a commanding lead at this point. Uh, Please Sponsor Us has obviously demonstrated that they can beat Method, though. So they they do have it within them uh, to rise up and return uh, against against the energy <laughs> that CDU is no doubt being given at this particular moment in time. Um, but they, they do have it within them to come back. So the big <laughs> that... question is, where do they go from here? Like, what what comp choice do you make? I, I did think that was a weird a weird comp pick because, yeah. like we were saying at the start, Method goes, uh, losing team picks BAP. So Please Sponsor Us says, we're going to Tolveron. Method goes, oh, they're probably trying to bait us into Warrior Mage Shaman with the Tolveron, so we're going to go Lock Shaman, expecting them to pick something that would have worked better against the, the WMS. And then Please Sponsor Us goes with the God Comp anyway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this, no. That's mind games on an entirely different level. <laughs> that, I feel like, yeah, that's pretty intense. They actually knew what it is they're facing, and they chose that. Though we saw yeah. them go up against Splice early on in the tournament with God Comp against FLS, which is similar, 
and they took them yeah. down super hard. So maybe they had that much confidence in that composition that they could take on, uh, you know, Method even uh, running that Lock Shaman composition. But it definitely didn't look like it from our point of view. I mean, they got the cooldowns, and it was, uh, honestly, it was kind of close. The next setup could have spelt doom for either one of those teams. So, um, yeah. you know, they, they, they did put their best foot forward there, but it just wasn't enough to take out Method's WLS. And I think a lot of that attests to Method's just sheer, sheer amount of games and how much experience they have with this WLS. I mean, CDU was saying they've been playing WLS since Warlords of Drainer came out. You know, like this is like their comp that they went to and they wanted to make work. And they're doing just that here in the finals. Um, but yeah. it looks like we're going to take a quick moment uh, to wait for these guys to make the decisions on the next map or the next game. Uh, and in that moment, I'll take the uh, opportunity to shout out all of the new uh, awesome supporters of GCD TV. Uh, we did get a whole bunch of subs, and I'm honestly, I don't remember where I was. <laughs> in terms of this list <laughs> because it's coming in so fast which is a really good problem to have um, so uh, Miss Dev has subscribed thank you so much Miss Dev for that subscription also Z Z oh man I'm gonna t uh, help me out with this how do I say this Z A R E Y T V I, I, I figured out the TV part but what's the first part Zrai I, I Zray. say Zray 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 TV Zray. man Thank yeah. you so much, Zray TV, for that subscription, buddy. And uh, I still oh say your gosh. 300 sub goal should just be you reading just the reading names of everyone chat. in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! If you if chat if you want that, I'll do it for you. But it, oh man, that would be <laughs> that would be rough for both of us. We'll just leave it at that. Um, custom identity. Thank you for subscribing and having a you know easy name for me to uh, you know pronounce. It's actually pronounced. <laughs> Kustam Identitai. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, ba Bados uh, Liber. Oh my gosh. Okay, give me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am just like, I'm so baffled by your name, man. I feel like you made this name for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spelt it in chat. Give me a hand with that, man. What is that? Batisai HBR. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Batasai HBR. You sound like, like a race, like a new race from Doctor Who or something like that. So thank you for that subscription, man. <laughs> and uh, we also got another subscriber. We just got another subscriber as I'm trying to get through the list of new subscribers. That is amazing, by the way. We are at 260 subscribers. That's awesome. We had a new subscriber as well. RyeCP1209. Thank you so much, RyeCP. Unfearless has also subscribed. And RoadDog420. Has also, I feel like it's Road Dog 420. Like, the first thing I thought of was Road Hog, you know, so Road Dog, mm. there it is. Um, and thank you, thank you guys all for the new subs. I really appreciate that, man. Um, you let us continue to do what we do here, and uh, I am so appreciative to, um, to what it is I do. Because this is amazing. We are in the finals of the Winter Pro League tournament, and it's currently 3-1 to one in favor of Method. What a crazy story it's been so far. What a crazy of tournament it's been so far, and I am just so grateful for everything that's happened. Blade's Edge is going to be the map choice. So, who, wait, who just lost? Okay, so that means please sponsor us chose that map choice. So, yes. first thing I think of, whenever I see Blade's Edge, I just think of, oh, there's a port. Someone has a port. <laughs> Somewhere, yeah. some somehow, someone can abuse the Z-axis. And uh, yeah. so the first thing that pops into my head is that maybe they're going back to the Feral Lock. And I, yeah, I, think I kind of expect we'll see the FLS versus the WLS again. Yeah. Um, and it's it's another game of who can outlock Shaman, uh, <laughs> the other team, um, assuming that that's what these guys end up actually going with. Um, but yeah, I, I, I could also see Method deciding to go the WMS into this just to be contrary. Just to just to make me look bad, um, <laughs> we'll find out here very very shortly. <laughs> they love to do that, don't they? But no, they do. Yeah, we got a feral lock shaman coming out from Please Sponsor Us, and you know, uh, just a reminder, guys. The one win that Please Sponsor Us took against Method in this series was feral lock shaman versus WLS in game number yeah. one in the Grand Arena. So here on Please, Spo Please Sponsor Us is going to be running, uh, you know, that the FLS versus the WLS on Blades of Arena. And it would seem before that Chan I Am was actually the kill target for Method as well as Rub Cub. Um, so, you know, having that Z axis might be exactly what they need to take even more of an advantage against this WLS composition. Yeah, and I'm going to be, it's going to be really interesting to see what Bean Slayer and Smexen do right at the start of this match. If they're going to try and interrupt uh, the gateway or if they're going to sit back and try to defend their own gateway. 
um, with any any CC at the start. We're about to find out though, as the gates have now opened. It looks like Smexen he's going to try and no, actually I thought he was going he's to, chilling. but then he decided just to prove me wrong. Uh, and both warlocks will get their gateways down uh, at the start of this. But wait, actually has has Chanam actually put one down? I don't actually, oh, it's on the bottom. Okay, there it is. So the fear comes out onto Rub Cub right at the start there. The Shadow Fury onto Bean Slayer as well. Wow. Uh, Method trying to put some early damage into him here. Does force out, uh, excuse me, doesn't actually force, I read the wrong icon there. Doesn't actually force out either of his survival instincts. So good job by Bean Slayer just having the presence of mind not to use those despite that big chunk of damage that he took right at the start. Now trying to turn it back around over here. He's trying to get a uh, Cyclone out, but Sea-Doo doing a good job hiding out of line of sight. Bean Slayer is just going to go ahead and re respond to that with his Incarn, trying to keep Sea-Doo stunned up here. Sea-Doo down to 50% health, does have his Earth Shield active on himself. Rub Cub, though, still taking a lot of damage, actually out in the middle of the open here, uh, just ca casting some heals onto himself. Sea-Doo going to go ahead and pop that Ascendance uh, and heal himself up here. No Trinket or Spirit Link out of him yet, though, so he's just using that Ascendance at the start here, just to keep his team alive and on the offense as much as possible. Now with the stun onto Rub Cub, that's a big chunk of damage, down to 28% health. If he gets into that execute range, we all know what happens then. He's going to go ahead and pop that Spirit Link uh, to keep his to keep his health up. Zidu, though, gets super low, oh down to 5%. Gosh. Does manage to get off his Spirit Link. Actually did that without trinketing, too. So that's a that's a, that's a a trademark Sea-Doo moment right there, again, saying, I'm at 10% health, and everything is fine. I'm going to Spirit Link in half a second, and we'll be okay. Uh, so now... They are still alive, they are still in this, and Sidu still has the Trinket Link available, but so does Rub Cub, as Bean Slayer is starting to take a lot of damage, and Method looking like they're looking for their next opportunity to turn this back around. Man, dude, the damage that's going out. Main goes out on a Sidu. He does not have that Trinket available to him because he did just stone form. He's going to get cloned up at low health. Smexen trying to put Please Sponsor Us on the back foot with his avatar, though, but look at Method. Their health bars are looking scary. Chan I am dipping lower and lower into the Shadow Fury. Smexen's avatar is doing work, oh! and down he goes. Are you kidding me? Sam I am goes down to the Smexicute and Method they did it they've won it is four to one in favor of Method and they take the series by storm against please sponsor us and they now are the Winter Pro League champions holy crow congratulations to Cedu Smexen and Snuts for that victory taking a quick look at that replay to see how that actually just went down is incredible uh, I mean looking at Method they felt like they're on the back foot you know the control was in please sponsor us favor but all of a sudden the damage from smexin it's almost a defensive cooldown because you don't want to be near a smexin when the avatar is popped. <laughs> you just really don't and channels is a good point of that there's a shadow fury to follow it up he's not going anywhere and that's all the time they need to lock that kill down and uh the you know the link was too little too late they got that execute off and they are your champions Holy crow, what an unbelievable uh, series of events there on Blades Edge Arena, you know. They went to Blades Edge Arena to make it so it was harder for Channimals to go, or Channimals, Chan I am, to go down. And it, it, was, it didn't really all that matter when there's that much damage in that short of time. Uh, well, congratulations to the one and only Method. They got to be feeling pretty good about that as they went into this tournament saying, oh, yeah, if I won this tournament, I'd be pretty stoked about that because I really don't think I'm going to. And they did. They pulled it off. You know, they adapted. They had the Warrior Maid Shaman. They had the warlock, the war, Warrior Warlock Shaman compositions available to them, and they made it past teams that they just th thought were just impossible to get past because of that adaptation. So... Congratulations, guys, for all of that. Holy crow, what a, what a, what a tournament, really. Um, yeah. Oof. And uh, Playing that, <laughs> I think we can call that an SLS composition at this point, the Smexen Lock Shaman. Smexen Lock Shaman Cop. Seriously, the guy does need his own, like, he is his own class. I'm the, the, the execute Smexen. came... <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was watching the health percentage on, uh, on Sam I Am uh, in that last match, during the replay. He executed him at 19% health. Like, that's just barely enough. And, like, that means he was mashing that button ahead of time, going, Oh, I know what's about to happen. And it did. And, <laughs> and it did. Congratulations to Method for, th for that victory. And, of course, congratulations to Please Sponsor Us as well for an incredibly strong showing through this entire. Uh, through this entire tournament. If you are a sponsor, you should sponsor these guys. Yeah, please. I mean, <laughs> these are some of the best players, if not the best players in North America, and they came second. I mean, that's a big deal. So congratulations to them.
for getting second and also congratulations to tempo storm as well as we back for getting those third and fourth places um but there you have it guys that is going con con to conclude the winter season here at gcd tv and like i said we are going to be putting up that gofundme so if you guys want to support the dream and you guys want to uh, you know get involved with the next pro league season spring i'm going to go ahead and post links on that on our twitter so check out our twitter for that as well but before i go i need to shout out all of the new supporters to gcd tv we did get a five dollar donation from aaron and Jager. Aaron did not leave a message, but those $5 donations do add up, and every cent goes to the prize pools of GCD TV. So thank you for that donation. We also got Z is a boss and Tubbs the Bear have both subscribed to the channel. So thank you guys for those subscriptions and welcome to the team once again. Um, but that is it. That's it for us here at GCD TV. Uh, we are going to have an interview. Is that right? I think that the admin, the one and only Clutter, is actually setting up an interview with one of the players from, um... Hello? Hello! What's up, Snuts? How you doing, man? Good, good. Yeah, you know, you know. Happy. Happy. I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> I feel weird. You feel pretty good? Well, congratulations, man. You guys are the champions of the entire Winter Pro League season. I mean, that's got to feel kind of good, right? You know, a little bit good? Yeah, it feels It feels good. I'm just, um, obviously, we didn't want to win DC on a game against Apple Storm. Oh, yeah, of course. Because um, that was such an amazing series on both ends. Like, we both did really well. Like, they played amazing. And the reason why, I mean, we did <clears throat> we try and wait, and then we realized that Mage had no more blocks and decided to go for the kill. As, uh, as bad as that is, I don't know. I just feel weird winning that way, but at the same time, I'm really... Happy. Yeah, but credit where credit's due for sure. You guys played amazing. You really did. You know, you went up against Splice. You guys were not happy about going up against Splice, and you guys pulled it out. You guys did it. You took the series by storm, and that was incredible. And then going up against Tempo Storm as well. You know, they they were trying to throw all sorts of weird compositions at you, and you guys pulled it through. And it's very yeah. unfortunate that the very last series had that DC. No one wants to win that way. Absolutely not. But um, you guys still showed an amazing uh, level of play. And it looks like we have the whole team in here. What's up, Smexin? Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. Can you hear me fine? I can hear you good too, man. How are you feeling? You are the warrior from Method who is now the champion of the Winter Pro League. How are you feeling right now? Just walk me through your thought process. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's pretty surreal, honestly. I didn't. I thought. Uh, I didn't know we're if we gonna were going to win that, that. tournament. We, we, yeah, it was pretty rough, night, man. Uh, we were playing last night, and uh, Sidu was just saying, "Oh, we have like one percent chance to win." I'm like, "All right." Well, Sidu says it. We have one percent, and then I um, I busted out the maid, and dude, the maid. We just got carried by Snuts Mage. That's all it was. Really. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Snuts Mage. That was some crazy play, man. Snuts like. Uh, I don't know, watching you play a mage, it really didn't seem like you were a rookie at all in that mage. It really looked like you guys knew what you were doing. Not only that, but the synergy you guys had together really paid off. I think that practice really paid off, so kudos to you yeah. guys. I think that was Chuck my boy Ham Cham too, always playing Warrior Luxon and Warrior Mage Shaman. I mean, oh, I yeah. knew that, I mean, it's, it's just weird. I don't know, like, I don't know why the mage is better, just because they have more goal and stuff, but it just seemed a lot cleaner, and uh, we didn't practice too much again as it, but it's not even that plus does have an advantage against where you lock shaman and it's it just <laughs> we did just get a five dollar donation i figured i should shout out to you boys they said it's from cdu's boys nate and he said my boys made me proud so yeah i'm, I'm sure they <laughs> right. did i'm sure they did i think cdu might be in here too i'm not sure if he if his mic is working here on discord uh yeah i'm in here what's up okay. dude congratulations up? man Thank you, thank you. This is a really strange tournament. It feels, I don't know. I, I feel really awkward right now. We won a game as a mage without a van. You know, we, we won off of the DC. It's like so many strange things in one tournament. It feels really strange. I don't know. It really does. There, like some of the like even going into like the group stages when teams were just getting three would like crazy. In the same matchups that we've seen previous uh, in throughout the season, where that's just not what happened. It, but, you know, like, it definitely goes to show that you guys were able to adapt um, to the scenarios that were thrown your way and come out ahead. And it's been a crazy road for you guys. And, you know, I was talking to you a little bit in those interviews, and you're just like, man, the players that are in this tournament and, you know, the comps that we're going to have to go up. But without Ven, 
How are we? There, I'd be very surprised, is what you said. And you're here, dude. You did it. You are now the champion of Pro League Winter. That's got to feel pretty good. It feels good. And truth be told, we actually needed a mage, but it just it happened to be Snut's mage at the time. <laughs> <laughs> we, couldn't, we couldn't have done it without him. We would have got destroyed. So. Yeah. yeah. It was it was a it was a really fun tournament and it was really well organized as well. I'm sorry, like <clears throat> if we um, made hard on you guys because I know we like to take a lot of like five minute and stuff. So no, I know we... the commentators probably have to talk about a lot of good <laughs> stuff. Well, that's why lore is amazing because. I, like if you guys don't know this from a, an organizer's point of view, having lore uh, on on the on the cast is like the greatest thing ever for any sort of uh, you know delay. So thank you, lore, for coming on and uh, talking <laughs> to me about stuff like five damage on a totem for like twenty minutes. I can always talk for for ten minutes about how I don't understand basic game mechanics. It always works <laughs> yeah. really well for me. Of course, of course. Well, once again, guys, really, congratulations on the win. You guys had a very rough ho road ahead of you, and you overcame, and I can't stress that enough. So congratulations. Uh, for I, I, I recommend that you all, you know, reward yourself somehow, other than just the money that's going to be sent your <laughs> way, because you guys really deserve it. Um, but that concludes sure. the whole tournament, man. That concludes all of the Winter Pro League. We're going to be jumping back into the action with the European Pro League uh, later on in February. And hopefully the Spring Pro League will be starting up uh, at, at the end of February, if not the beginning of March. So I'm once so again, much more excited to watch the Euro 1 than actually play. These tournaments are yeah. pretty stressful. And oh my gosh, they just take up so <laughs> much time, it. man. I'm it's just so nonstop, just hungry. like practicing. No time yeah. for streaming. It's so stressful. And then if you go down 3 in the first series, you're just like, wow, now we have to come all the way back up. But I think that's the worst I've ever got being in a tournament. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 30 seconds long. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but for real, um, the practice that you guys put in last night, it showed so much. You guys really did adapt in that scenario. That was awesome to see. And we were all sent, we were all in ch chat and we were like, oh man, Splice versus Method. This is going to be freaking rough. And you guys... You guys did it. I actually, when I saw the Warrior Mage Shaman coming out, I'm like, I wonder if these guys practice. And, and since the first opener, I'm like, yep, they practiced that. There's no, <laughs> they definitely put in the work there. So congratulations. I got to run. I just want to say thank you for hosting the tournament and thank you to all the competitors, but I got to go. All right. Peace. See you later, Chuck. Congratulations once again. We have to run as well. We are going to go and drop the stream now at this point. We're probably going to host someone as well. Um, so thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. And shout out to my boy Snuts for that three-month resub. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate that, man. It's kind of weird to shout someone out who's in the same channel as me, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> no worries. Peace out, guys. Great journey. Um, you cut out a little bit there, but make sure to follow all three of these guys up on Twitter, including Smexin, and uh, watch all of these guys on Twitch as well. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time. Shout outs to my good friend Lore as well as Super Tease for coming out and uh, commentating with me and making this a whole lot easier to get through. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to add, Lore? Maybe a, a shout out or a plug? Uh, no, just follow everyone on Twitter. Congratulations to Team Method uh, and all the teams that competed here today. Everyone, like all these games, with that one unfortunate exception, all these games were so amazing. Um, this has been an absolute honor to be here. I'm, I'm so glad that I get to do this stuff. Uh, this is, this is really, really great. So, uh, yeah, thank, thank you, D-Machine and Clutter, for putting on yet another amazing tournament. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. There it is. All right, I got my, I got my quick plugs because I do have...